write down an investigative question uh, for this experiment so now we have to read the statement right uh, the statement says that an experiment is performed to investigate the effect of wavelength on the degree of diffraction right the experiment is performed to investigate the effect of wavelength on the degree of diffraction so what investigative question can you pose for this experiment right what is the relationship between wavelength of a light ray and degree of diffraction or another way you can say you can say how does a change in wavelength affect the degree of diffraction right uh, one between the two you can also change a few words but in the grand scheme of things we are looking for the relationship between the wavelength of a light ray and the degree of diffraction right and that is 8.2 now let's turn our attention to 8.3 so 8.3 is saying that the degree of diffraction is recorded for different colors of monochromatic light and the results are shown on the graph below on the y-axis we have the degree of diffraction and then on the x-axis we have the wavelength right and then the question is saying write the mathematical relationship between wavelength and the degree of diffraction the mathematical relationship between wavelength and the degree of diffraction we can see clearly from our graph right that the degree of diffraction is directly proportional to the wavelength right the degree of diffraction is directly proportional to the wavelength so what you write for 8.3 you say that uh, the degree of diffraction is directly proportional to the wavelength right as the wavelength increases the degree of diffraction also increases right 8.4 is saying which color of light between red and green has the largest degree of diffraction which color of light between red and green has the largest degree of diffraction up to so far we know that the degree of diffraction is directly proportional to the wavelength right uh, we have red and green so if we know uh, the wavelength is between red and green then we will know which one has the largest degree of diffraction so between red and green which color has the largest wavelength right now we have to go to our visible light spectrum right uh, we know that the trend goes like red orange yellow green blue indigo and violet and the wavelength increases as we move to the left so between red and green red has the largest wavelength right so it is going to have the greatest degree of diffraction so our answer for 8.4 is red right our answer here is red so if you are given different colors let's say uh, yellow and violet then which one will have the largest degree of a diffraction right we know fully well that yellow will have the largest degree of diffraction because it has a larger wavelength compared to violet uh, but what if you compare orange and blue right and then orange will have the highest degree of diffraction because it has a larger wavelength compared to blue that's how you approach the question right and then for 8.5 they say that the experiment is repeated with only green light with a wavelength of 560 nanometers but the slit width is changed and the degree of diffraction is recorded copy the set of axes below in your answer book and draw a graph showing the relationship between slit width and degree of diffraction so now uh, we need a relationship between degree of diffraction and slit width right uh, so the degree of diffraction we have already seen that is directly proportional to the wavelength right but not only is it directly proportional to the wavelength it is inversely proportional to the slit width right so when the slit width increases uh, the degree of diffraction decreases so here on our graph uh, we should have something of this manner you can see when the slit width is increasing the degree of diffraction 
is decreasing, they're inversely proportional to each other.